Welcome to this week's Telegraph Herald More Than The Score. I'm Mike Steffens and I'm joined by Zach Joyce. How's it going, Zach? Excited to be here, huh? Not a very talkative one, huh? I know the feeling, buddy. This week, we'll be covering the Iowa State track meet. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. I just, I, just, uh, I just got a little run in to get excited for the track meet. Zach, I'm here. I made it. Thanks for your time, buddy. Nice NASCAR shirt, by the way. Uh, don't worry, Mike. Oh, man, I just uh, just up at Dalzell there, getting a good little mile run in. Two laps around, get a mile in, and get excited for the whew, state track meet. Is that, Isn't that four sense. laps around the track for a mile? Four, four, it's, it's four laps for a mile? Pretty sure. Are you sure? It's been a while since I ran it, but I'm pretty sure. I did two laps, and whew, that was a long time. It was like 10 minutes, I think it was, so then I... I ran down here, I thought, whew, well good, good thing I don't cover track, because <laughs> I would get, don't get the laps right. Anyway, you were about to say it, but yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, I was running hard out there. <laughs> Iowa State track and field meet <sighs> this, uh, this weekend down in Des Moines, Drake Stadium, and our track guru, thank goodness it's not me, Brendan West is down there, and he'll have all the coverage for us this weekend in Telegraph Herald dot com as well as the print edition all weekend so many athletes have qualified for the state event feel free to chime in no okay and uh brendan was on the scene this week talking to some athletes as they were getting ready for this big event and he caught up with dubuque seniors stevie lamb fantastic runner for dubuque senior she is the reigning divisional athlete of the year two times two two straight athlete of the year awards for Lamb, she's a fantastic sprinter for the Rams, and uh, he was able to catch up with her and talk to her. She qualified for four individual events, and here's kind of what she's looking to do down at the state meet. You've had a really successful career at senior, mm -hmm. uh, two-time NBC Athlete of the Year, and, and you know, you're, you're very used to winning events mm -hmm. and, and going to Drake and, and competing, so I guess You've already set the bar really high for yourself. I guess, what, what are your hopes when you go down to Des Moines next week for state? Um, I really am after the 400 open record at school. It's a 58-3. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that the competition down there will make me run a lot faster and shave some time to get that record. Mm -hmm. So You know, you, you've probably seen a lot of those different faces too that mm -hmm. have uh, competed and everything. So, yeah. you know, having sort of that, that baseline of experience well, well, and real running hard. against some of those people, uh, does that does that give you any kind of advantage as you as you head down there? Yeah, there's a lot of fast girls, and I basically know all of them by now from four years. So like, they really give me someone to chase every time I'm there, and so I'm really excited to run against them. Next event is what do you make of Seniors Day girls. overall, girls and boys? I mean, you guys oh, winning events left and yeah. right. Yeah, the boys did awesome. The girls did pretty good. Um, Claire 15, got 15, second 15, in 3,000, and she PR'd by a lot. So I'm really happy for her. And so, hopefully our DMAD got it. So we'll find out. So, Mike, that's what I said to the kid as I passed him. Could you run any slower? <laughs> God, that's so slow. I was running so slow. It was like I was flying. Anyway, uh, we're back. So, that was Stevie Lamb. Tons of area athletes qualified for the Iowa State meet. Mike, and it'll be a, a big event down in Des Moines this weekend. Brendan will have all the great coverage for you at telegraphherald.com, as well as in the print edition. So, Mike, I think that's going to do it for this week's edition of Telegraph Herald. More than the score. Next week, Brendan will be back, and he'll have all kind of the wrap-up coverage here, right here on your favorite show, covering Tri-State Sports, more in the score. For Mike Steffens, I'm Steve Ortman. We'll see you next week. It's a really big change to run all opens at State, but it still be fun with the people who are down there. <laughs> oh, my <Wipe> God. <laughs>